Has anyone that you've ever worked with before ever said to you, I didn't realize that was in your wheelhouse? Well, I got a story for you coming up next. Welcome to Behind the Camera. I'm Paul Schmidt, the owner and creative video strategist for Introduce Multimedia. I'd like to take you back to 2015, in which we were asked to do something that we'd never done before. Well, nothing that I've never done before as Introduce Multimedia. Well, the client was the ELCA, or Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, youth gathering. And this is a triennial event, or every three years, in which they bring 30 plus thousand kids to a city for a four day event. And so Detroit was the location for 2015. I had previously worked for, with this event in a different capacity as management of their video and photography teams and making sure that all on-site media went through us. But this time around, they wanted to use Hart Plaza for a gathering spot because what, what that gathering spot would do was provide a launching point to go out into the neighborhoods to do service projects. So each day, was about 30, 10,000 plus kids would be coming to Hart Plaza for an hour and a half programming that we were asked to put on. Now what they wanted to do was to have an MC, a DJ, you know, and obviously having some type of rallying point. So to bring up the energy in the very early morning before they headed out into the warm super hot summer afternoons and uh, in the city of in the neighborhoods of uh, of Detroit doing different things so what sounded like a simple procedure had a lot of logistical issues surrounding it especially on the first day so I was tasked to produce the event in the in Hart Plaza so I had three cameras only one was manned and that camera was on a huge jib and so on the other two cameras were positioned in different spots that could be cut to when the jib couldn't make it to them. They already tasked my friend Malik to be the MC, but at the last second their DJ dropped out and I so happen to know a DJ here in the Lansing area very well really good friend of mine and so I convinced them to bring him in and so all three of us who had never worked on something like this at this capacity before were put together to run this show now I just mentioned that there was a lot of logistical issues that came across or came to be during this time because there was a lot of things that happened at once first of all there's a ton of buses that had to come to pick these kids up from Hart Plaza to transport them to where they needed to go. Well, the buses were late. The buses were late because there was a bit major accident on the freeway. There was a delay there. And then there was a delay in making sure the kids who were supposed to get their lunches provided for them while they were out on these sites, there was a delay there. So they had to wait for that stuff to come through and there was a bunch of messes. So in other words, in essence, what had happened was it went from an hour and a half program to get people hyped up and, and crazy for, for this launch to happen and going out into these neighborhoods to a five hour event in which, get this, Malik and Brian, Brian the DJ, Malik the MC, had never worked together before in any type of capacity and much less outside in a venue in Detroit being a, a rallying cry where a hype man for 10,000 people a day coming through this plaza. However, five hours they entertained every single one of those kids to a point where Malik was actually asked to come on to the main stage later that evening 
to talk about, you know, to keep that positivity that he brought to that that point back to the, the kids again. And it was just amazing to see these professionals work, not only never, work, never having been working before, but working together to make that happen. The management of this event, they didn't realize that I was in charge of this aspect of, of the event. And they said, we didn't realize that you knew how to do this. And I said, I drew this, I drew on my past prior of running live shows and live broadcasts um, before I got into doing this on my own. And it was one of those aspects that really endeared me to the client, endeared me to Malik and Brian, and endeared me, endeared them to me, because it was amazing to watch them work. And I was so grateful to be a part of that situation. Um, and we still talk about it to this day, five plus years later. That was just an amazing situation that we all were a witness of and will never forget. So, and there you have it. That's that behind the camera. So please don't forget to check out all the other behind the cameras on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to us on our blog. Don't forget about our email newsletter because all this comes, in, comes through there. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thanks for watching Behind the Camera.